Hello and welcome to another update video about Chili's. So yesterday Chili's did move up quite substantially and we said that the next retracement will be a stress test for the idea that it could have bottomed yeah, at 13.2 cents. Um, as I said to you before, we can't really confirm that a low is in until we break above 15 and a half cents. The move down has been in five waves, five waves within um, a, no five waves within wave five here within a C wave. So this is a pretty full pattern. It doesn't need to drop any lower. It could though, it could though, yeah. Um, there's nothing wrong with um, dropping once more. We'd have to make some small adjustments to the wave counts here, but um, it wouldn't be a problem. It could drop once more, no problem. I gave you a key support area here at 12 and a half cents. Should we lose 12 and a half, there is one more chance to maintain, <clears throat> to maintain an overall higher level bullish scenario that we have on the chart here. We've got the possibility that this is a wave one up and a wave two to the downside here. Um, it needs to hold ideally the 78.6% FIP level that is at uh, 30, no, 12 and a half cents. Again, should we drop below it, it will already get a bit difficult. Yeah, we've got then the 88.7% FIP level at 10 and a half cents. Mm, but anything below that will ch put the chart into bear mode. Yeah, so let's say below 10 cents, this chart will go into bear mode. And I think we're also going to drop below 8 cents and we'll see much lower lows. Um, even below the June low. However, at the moment, this is still a valid 1-2 setup. Um, after we had here this resistance area, this sort of short trade area, we have come down nicely, which is fantastic. It's just now to figure out, you know, when are we bottoming? Don't, don't be fooled to think that you can always pick the absolute low. Yeah, this is not possible. Or if you, if it's, if you do it, if you get really the absolute low, then you are lucky, most likely, or at least you have some skill. But you're not going to do it all the time, so it's best to, to look at a range here. And yeah, it could have bottomed now. We've got enough waves down. It's a pretty full pattern, but it will really only be going up um, if we get five waves up. And this could be a small five wave move up, but it also needs to hold the retracement. And basically that would mean if we say that, um, yes, the low is in now in this one-two setup. Here we've got a possible small one-two setup and it would move up from here. but it basically would move, would need to move now. I mean, really now, I'm, you know, uh, it's reached a 78.6% FIP level, 13 and a half cents. It's sort of dancing on that, dropping below that will most likely take out the 13.2 cent level as well, and most likely take us to 12 and a half. And that's basically what we can, um, what we can say here about Chili's. Either it moves really up now in a wave three then, and then we can look at a target of around of around 16 cents for this wave three. Yeah. Um, but it's not necessarily high confidence. The market is currently in sell off mode, but I think it will it will possibly turn around shortly because we have a lot of coins being oversold again, at least some temporary upside. Um, but yeah, the, it really needs to move up now if it wants to rally now, otherwise we we'll put one more low in probably at around 12 and a half cents. Okay, and that's my update about Chili's. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.